works. We're going to keep doing it at the cafeteria from now on. And we'll always have light refreshments because every town hall from now on will be a recognition event. Today we're going to recognize some hand hygiene and some, some good role modeling going on at many departments that Paula will tell you about. So I'll ask Michelle to take over. She's acting CEO this week. Hi, Michelle. Brush up on my acting skills. Uh, I should brush up on my technology skills too. But I'm not doing much of the talking, so I'm not even going to bother to put this on. Um, we have a number of folks that are going to come up and give you updates on some really important things. And as David said, it's also a chance for us to recognize some of our achievements. Um, but before I uh, get into the agenda, I'm actually going to go off the agenda for a bit. So I'm not sure if everyone is aware of some challenges that we experienced at this site uh, last night with our electrical system. Is everyone aware of that? Chris, I know you are. Yeah. Well, I just thought since folks are, are wondering that we should talk a little bit about it. Uh, we did experience a problem with our electrical system last night and it really brought home how dependent we are on electricity and on technology because it affected um, our ability to do operations, people were in the OR with flashlights, affected um, x-rays and Meditech and our patients on ventilators and elevators and uh, just everything. The paging system, um, just so many things and I really want to congratulate and thank all of the people that came in in the middle of the night. Rick Gowry isn't here, he's probably either catching up on sleep or still working with his team, but the whole facilities team and maintenance and uh, all of the managers that, that were involved in trying to um, alleviate the problem. So I think uh, almost all of our systems, if not all of them, are back online now. And uh, fortunately we did practice a scenario similar to this. We practiced different types of disaster exercises um, on a regular basis. And the last one we did was called Operation Stone Age. And it was a test of what we would do if all of our technology was down. So I think we were well prepared. So I just wanted to acknowledge all of the folks that contributed to getting us back on track and to let everyone know that things are under control. So. Yes, good job. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to ask Paula to come up and give us an update on infection prevention. Uh, 